The cascading waters of Niagara Falls have always been a symbol of natural beauty and awe. However, on a fateful day in November 2024, they became the backdrop for an unimaginable tragedy. Chianti Means, a mother from New York, made a heart-wrenching decision to leap into the falls with her two young children, Roman and Mecca. This shocking incident cast a dark shadow over the community, leaving many to ponder the depth of despair that led to such a tragic end. This narrative aims to uncover the layers of this haunting story, reflecting on the impact on the community and the broader issues of mental health. Niagara Falls, a place known for its majestic beauty, has also been a site of numerous tragedies over the years. The powerful currents and towering cliffs have seen both accidental mishaps and intentional acts of despair. In recent times, there has been a concerning rise in such incidents, prompting questions about safety and mental health resources in the area. The frequency of these events has not only alarmed local authorities, but has also sparked a broader conversation about the mental health crisis that many individuals face. Local leaders are calling for more stringent safety measures and better mental health support systems to prevent future tragedies. This ongoing challenge underscores the need for a holistic approach to both public safety and individual well-being. Have you ever visited a place that holds both beauty and a sense of solemnity? What feelings did it evoke in you? Chianti Means was more than just a name in the news. She was a devoted mother, a friend, and a member of her community. Her life, like many others, was a tapestry of joys and struggles. In the days following the tragedy, those who knew her shared stories of her love for her children and her vibrant personality. Yet, beneath the surface, there were signs of the internal battles she fought daily. Chianti's social media profiles painted a picture of a woman deeply connected to her children and her community. She shared moments of happiness, her children's milestones, and snippets of her daily life. However, interspersed with these posts were glimpses of her struggles. Subtle cries for help, masked by the facade of normalcy, often go unnoticed. In Chianti's case, these posts became a haunting reminder of the pain she endured in silence. This tragedy has opened their eyes to the hidden struggles that individuals may face, even those who seem to have it all together. In the weeks leading up to the tragedy, Chianti Means's social media posts began to take on a more somber tone. While she continued to share moments of joy, there were also posts that hinted at a deepening sadness. Friends and followers saw posts about feeling overwhelmed, cryptic messages about finding peace, and expressions of love directed at her children that, in retrospect, seemed like farewells. One post in particular stood out. Chianti shared a photo of Niagara Falls with a caption that read, Sometimes the greatest beauty hides the deepest pain. At the time, it might have seemed like a poetic reflection, but in light of subsequent events, it became a chilling precursor to her final act. Her posts have since sparked a wave of reflection among her online community. This has also led to important conversations about the role of social media in mental health and the need for vigilance and compassion in our online interactions. The events of that tragic day are etched into the memories of those who witnessed them. On the morning of November 7th, Chianti Means took her children to Niagara Falls. Eyewitnesses recall seeing a mother and her two children at Luna Island, moments before they bypassed the safety barriers. It was here that Chianti made the harrowing decision to leap into the falls taking her children with her. The immediate aftermath was one of chaos and disbelief. Park authorities and emergency responders quickly arrived on the scene, 
but the powerful waters of Niagara Falls offered little hope for a swift rescue. The search for their bodies began almost immediately, with divers and rescue teams scouring the area despite the challenging conditions. The tragedy forced everyone to confront the devastating consequences of unchecked mental health issues. In the wake of the tragedy, the community around Niagara Falls was enveloped in a collective grief. Vigils were held, candles were lit, and flowers were placed near the site where Chianti and her children were last seen. Community leaders and mental health advocates quickly mobilized, organizing support groups and counseling sessions for those affected by the tragedy. Schools held assemblies to discuss mental health and local churches opened their doors for prayer and reflection. The incident had touched a nerve, and the community was determined not to let it pass without taking action. Social media platforms were flooded with messages of condolence, stories of personal struggles, and calls for greater mental health awareness. Hashtags like hash remember Chianti and hashtag mental health matters trended highlighting the widespread impact of the tragedy and the urgent need for change. The search for Chianti Means and her children was exhaustive and emotionally taxing. Rescue teams, including divers and specialized search units, worked tirelessly to locate their bodies. The treacherous conditions of Niagara Falls pose significant challenges but the determination to bring closure for the grieving family and community drove the efforts forward. The search extended over several days, with volunteers and local residents joining the professionals in the hope of finding any sign of Chianti and her children. The emotional toll on the search teams was evident, as each passing day without discovery weighed heavily on their hearts. Despite the best efforts, the bodies were not recovered immediately, adding to the anguish of those left behind. The authorities pledged to continue their efforts, emphasizing their commitment to providing closure for Chianti's family. Chianti Means' tragic story is not just an isolated incident. It is a reflection of a broader mental health crisis that is affecting communities everywhere. Her story highlights the urgent need for better mental health support systems, particularly for parents who often face immense pressure and isolation. The stigma surrounding mental health issues can prevent individuals from seeking the help they need, leading to devastating outcomes. Schools, workplaces and community centres need to play a more active role in identifying and supporting those struggling with mental health issues. Public awareness campaigns and education can help break down the barriers that prevent people from reaching out for help. Chianti's story has prompted calls for policy changes at both the local and national level. The goal is to create a society where mental health is treated with the same importance as physical health. In response to the tragedy, several initiatives have been launched to address mental health issues within the community. Local organisations have set up hotlines and support groups for individuals experiencing emotional distress. These resources are intended to provide immediate help and connect people with long-term support services.